Shalom, enlightened ones. Good to see you guys. Good to be here with you guys again. It is a beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord has made. So rejoice and be glad in it. I know I will. So I hope you guys had a great week. You know, I've been off of this for a week. Um, hope you guys got a chance to get with the Lord on your own and that you had a wonderful week. But cheers to the week ahead because we're going we gonna to turn it up for the week ahead. All right. So um, the word of the day from the Bible app, encouraging you guys to download that Bible app. The Bible app word of the day is from Romans 116. You might be familiar with it with uh, Lecrae and those guys and his whole crew, 116 crew, right? So um, Romans 116 says, I will not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation um, to everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Um, I got a revelation in that word, um, Kai Kai uh, Malachi, my, my oldest son, he told me, yo, dad, um, the revelation I got from that is the Jew first, then to the Greek, meaning inside your house, every man, every father, it's your, it's your job to be the shepherd of your own house. No matter if you have a pastor or you go to church, it's your job to be the shepherd of your own house. So you you should be the one giving the word and imparting that truth unto your children, right? And he said, we we serve as the Jews. And, and then the other people, when you go outside and you do outreach, public outreach into the world, you know, that, that will be the Greek. You know what I mean? Um, he, and that was a revelation that my son got. Um, but I, I want to point out how it said, you know, to everyone that believes is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. So we must believe the gospel and not be ashamed of the gospel and, and to tell the gospel truth. What God has done in your life. Don't forget your first love. Um, that was the last video. Don't forget your first love. Your first love, the, the love that you had in the beginning when you first had to believe. You know what I mean? Remember to share that love. Restore that relationship with God. Restore that relationship with your brothers and your sisters because no one can say that they love God with, and, and, and hate their own brother. That's what the scripture teaches us. So um, I want to encourage you guys today um, to stand on the word of God. And um, that's part of the armor of God. Like it says in Ephesians chapter six, we got the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the girdle of truth, and we got to have our feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So we got to have that gospel prepared. We got to know the gospel truth. Um, we got to have the shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one. And we got to have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And and I want to encourage you guys to, to stay in your word. Um, get your daily bread. Don't stand on what, what you can stand on God's word, but don't keep manna from yesterday. Meaning if God gave you a word yesterday, Make sure you go to him today and say, God, is this word still true? Did I, did I grow in a way? Do you have a new revelation for me in this word so that you can get that fresh manna from the word? Um, I don't want to be before you guys long. So I hope you guys are encouraged. Romans 1.16 is the word of the day. Meditate on that like Psalms 1 tells us. Psalm chapter 1 tells us day and night so that you can be like a tree planted by rivers of living water that you bring forth your fruit in your season. And your leaf also should not wither, but whatever you do, it shall prosper. Study those things. Be like the Bereans um, and make sure the things that I'm telling you is true. All right. Study the scriptures. I love you guys. Be blessed and be victorious today in Yeshua's name. Shalom.